Well, we're here at the Potter's House, Alyssa Wagner, and uh, she's going to be our potter for this whole sermon series. Uh, we talked about uh, mining, and now after it's mined and they do all of that stuff, it comes into a box like that. What is that called and how do they get it? What's the name of that? So this clay is um, from a, bl a brand called High Water Clay. They mine their clay and make it in their big room that they make all this clay in. And then it comes in 50 pound um, boxes. And what was it called? Uh, Pooter it out or? What? Oh, the pugger. The pugger. The pugger. So it they have a giant a pugger. pugger that a giant pugger. makes giant logs of clay that come out. And then you get it here, and I saw that you used this. Can you see yeah. what this is? And what do you use that with to that? So this is a wire cutting tool, and mm. you just use it to just cut through the clay. It it cuts through it pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, and do you just randomly cut through? Well, when um, you cut clay, what what are you thinking? I'm cutting off you know, the amount of clay that I want. So if this is like five pounds and I think uh, relatively that might be a pound, I'll cut that off and then I'll reweigh that part. And why five pounds? Well, it just depends on what kind of piece I'm making. So if I'm making a cup, I'm probably only going to use a pound. If I'm making a platter, I'm probably going to use closer to nine to ten pounds because the, the flat bottom part needs to be thick. So you're compressing out like a lot wide surface of clay. So you need more clay. And if it needs to be tall, you need more clay too. So if it's like a 10 inch piece, it needs to be like six pounds of clay. And that's just over practice. You just learn. You throw with four and you're like, that's not tall enough. So you throw it again with six and try it. Now, do you use the same kind of clay if you're if you're going to do a pitcher or a beer mug or a plate or a? Uh, it all depends on how you're going to fire the piece. So if I want something to be white porcelain that's going to be light, uh, I'll probably use that for a pitcher. I'll use porcelain. If I want beer mugs that are going to be like brown and go into a wood kiln and turn out really cool and atmospheric, I'll probably use red clay. But I try not to mix in my studio because red clay mixed with white clay is sometimes very messy. It's not pink clay? No, it turns <laughs> out very ugly. So what you're saying is you got to know, first of all, what you want at the end product. Yeah. And by knowing what you want at the end, that helps you... Yeah, so you have to think about what kind of glaze you're going to put on it, what cone you're going to fire it to, you know, the cones, the temperature, you know, what atmosphere you're going to fire it in. Are you going to fill it, fire it in a salt kiln? Are you going to fire it in a soda kiln? Are you going to electric fire it where there's no atmosphere? Or are you going to fire it in wood? All those different things decide what kind of clay you start with, what you're going to put on it, what imagery you're going to put on it, all of that. Pretty cool.